I've uh, rebuilt my distributor. Now I've got to set it back in here. Remember my rotor was kind of pointing off this direction when I took it out. Oh well, uh, something a lot of people don't know. The, the bottom of your distributor has got a, a hex shaped hole in it. And this hole engages a rod and that's what actually drives your oil pump is uh, a hex shaped rod that comes out of the bottom of your distributor. Um, so there's two things that you have to get lined up when you're putting the distributor back in. One, this hex rod has to be turned the correct position for it to slide into the hole. And then two, is you've also got to engage the teeth of the distributor gear with, uh, they have to mesh with the teeth on the camshaft. So you've got two different things that need to engage to, uh, for the distributor to be able to sit back in there. So keep that in mind. If, if, you're, if it's fighting you and you're just like, why won't this thing go in? Well, you, you, one of your two things is not lined up. my rotor fork out from underneath the car. My bolt is not cooperating. It doesn't there. Finally. See, he just got to talk bad about it. 
then it'll behave itself. Okay, I'm not going to totally tighten that bolt down because I'm going to have to do some adjustment uh, to get the, the timing correct. But I am at least going to um, tighten it down a bit. So the distributor doesn't turn on me when I first start the car. I have seen them do that. It shouldn't because it's fairly snug in there, but I have seen it turn. you have the key. Okay, it at least started. So now I've got to figure out how I'm going to position the camera so you can see me set the timing. We'll be back in a second. <laughs> 